Hi guys, Prashant here from Make Marketeer, and in this video, I'm going to share something very new about Facebook attribution. I hope you're aware about attribution. Attribution is about how you assign success or marketing success to a channel when you have multiple touch points in the conversion path. This is one of the most confusing and complex subjects when it comes to Google Analytics. But uh, and and all this while we were trying to attribute a success based on how we track and 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 find those people in analytics. But remember, Facebook also has an attribution where it is going to assign value to a particular marketing channel back in the Facebook account, ad account, right? See, you have to remember when we talk about attribution, it's not that one channel will drive person to conversion. There would be multiple touch points that will uh, uh, together take a person to a conversion, right? So how are you going to attribute this? There are different attribution models that you might be aware of. I'm not talking about attribution models here. I'm going to share about this little feature that Facebook offers. See if you're running Facebook campaigns and you use UTM tags and you tag them properly and you bring those people to our website and analytics captures them. So in analytics, you have multi-channel funnels, which will give you a complete report about the conversion path. And in that conversion path, you ideally understand, you know, how many touch points were part of that conversion path. You understand ki how many people came to your site from organic and then thereafter they came through social, which is again coming from uh, 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 Facebook because I've tagged them as social uh, medium, right? So I can understand how they actually work. But now the question is, what if I want to find the same information, not in analytics, but I want to find the same information in Facebook. If you want the same information in Facebook, what you have to do is you have to pass the information from Google ads to Facebook. That means the information about the clicks in organic traffic from Google, paid traffic from Google, you want these details to be available in Facebook. And this is what is uh, available or this is what can be achieved when you implement Facebook attribution. I'm going to quickly take you through how it looks like. I'm not going to show you through my account because there's some personal details or uh, information that I don't want to show. This is my attribution. Now, if you go through this, you'll find, right? So it says, hey, 56 website leads in last 30 days. And out of 1200 people who came to my site, out of which 56 people, it's a great, great conversion rate, right? And you see, Facebook is saying, hey, most of your conversions are actually coming from Google. And Instagram is also doing well for me because it's also driving a lot of conversions. Now, what is a conversion? Conversion is something that I've already defined in, uh, uh, in, in Facebook, right? In, in, uh, in Facebook and I've implemented the Facebook pixel. I'm implementing custom conversions as well. So whoever goes and does that particular action, so I, it will be counted as conversion. But remember, Facebook has a 28 day window and one day click, one day view uh, impression, uh, uh, one day view impression a conversion window. So if a person clicks today and buys the next 28 days, it will still be counted as conversion. If a person sees your ad today and, and, and converts next one day on your website also, it will still be converted, counted as conversion. You see, I'm, I'm trying to import all that data from Google into Facebook and Facebook captures all those things. And this is attribution. Right? You want to see, you want to see the conversion paths. If, if I say only Facebook, it will only show me for Facebook. I'll, I'll just show you. It, it's going to, it's going to show me only for Facebook. I'll be 13 conversions, you know, these are the campaigns that I'm running. But if I go to all channels, it's going to show me all the channels irrespective of where the user is coming from. And this is how you ideally understand how, you know, each of these channels are playing together, working together to drive a user into my conversion journey, right? So you see this, you know, you can see, hey, uh, Google organic. So the data from Google organic is also getting into Google ads. Right, you have conversion path, just like you have in analytics, it's going to show you the conversion path. You see, people clicked on the ad once, Google ad once, and then eight times he converted. Instagram, may he might have engaged or he might have interacted with my Instagram ad or post, and then he converted, and, 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 and eight people have come. So the total number of conversions from Google and Instagram is 16, right? If I, if I go into Google again, it's going to show me filter path. You can even, you can even you know, play with these things. You know, I said in attribution is 28 day click and one day view. And you have cross device paths as well. Top path is the path that user takes. No, no, you see these conversions, you know, it, you know, these many conversions were resulted as part of only mobile. 20 conversions happened only, you know, directly on mobile. You see, there are some other conversions which happened, you know, where user interacted with both desktop and mobile and, 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 and mobile only and desktop only. You can find all these details. This is going to give you a larger picture about how your marketing campaigns are running together to drive a person into my conversion funnel or, you know, at the end of it, he converts. And this is what you can track literally in Facebook. It was all the while there in analytics, but the same features also this but to implement this what you have to do is first you have to implement the conversion attribution and to implement conversion attribution what you have to do is you google will give you a small 
a, 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 a script and that script what you have to do is you have to take it and put it in your adwords account so in the adwords you go to tools and there you go to scripts in the scripts facebook will give you one uh, code you have to run that script and that script will fetch the data from google ads and put them in facebook uh, so you can so we can see that here so if i go to settings i'll show you how to do that it is just an overview i'm not going to take you through uh, how i've connected because again this this has some uh, details so i'm not going to reveal everything now, this is my Facebook pixel which is up on my site and I have you know website purchases you see and 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 and, uh, and website leads as well so you know you can find all those referring domains as to where those people are coming from who who's actually uh, 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 you know converted and all those things so if I go to ad platforms you know Facebook has integrated or working with many other uh, pre-configured platforms so if you click on platforms you find many other platforms you can choose any of them so what I have done is I have chosen Google Ad Search and Google Ad Display and when I choose Google Ad Search and Google Ad Display I'll just show you okay so what what it does is it will give you a small code and you have to take this and run it as a script in AdWords account and once that happens what happens is the entire data from AdWords will come into an, uh, Facebook and you can see how they are contributing how they are assisting and you can find all these details you see the copy tags and the paste tags here I click on continue right now it is going to give you a small click tag and this click tag has to be implemented in your tracking template so tracking template I think you might be aware if you're working on Google Ads campaigns you go to you know, all campaign settings and and then you have uh, tracking there you click on tracking and then you add this tag not just you add the tag you also get one more extra code this code is the snippet that you have to run it in the script section that's it and all the data will flow from your AdWords account into and uh, into Facebook and this is how you can see in Facebook how they're actually working together so if I go to conversion path you'll find the attribution 28 day click you now how many how, how, how they are contributing to my conversions you, you can try and play with them and uh, this this is this is what you will learn in bootcamp right bootcamp is not a place where you simply learn creating a campaign and all. no I'm not going to put any videos on YouTube which talk about creating a campaign you find several other materials several other campaigns or, or videos on YouTube or several other content I'm not going to share about that it is truly intense this is what you will learn to to a level that you try and understand how they all work together to drive a conversion if you're interested in learning the true digital marketing bootcamp is a place remember digital marketing cannot be learned unless you do it practically and for practically you you have to have live accounts and institutes are not marketing companies remember they can't teach you the real-time skills or real-time strategies that a company uses you can't learn them from an institute and for that you need to learn from an agency or a marketing company and and we are a marketing company we are a Google partner working with a lot of clients whose investment is beyond gross each of the client I'm saying if you're interested to learn digital marketing the true way interested to learn digital marketing to make a career bootcamp is a place for you I recommend you to just come listen to one two sessions you'll have a fair idea and then you can decide and uh, I will share I'll share more videos about these in depth topics you can just connect get, stay, get connected to our YouTube channel you can watch more videos I've already shared a lot of videos on uh, YouTube uh, which talk about kind of in-depth subjects and, and, and I'm not going to uh, get into complete detail and, and explain you everything because this is what we teach in our bootcamp if you're interested to learn these things you have to register for the bootcamp and uh, I will I will come back to you uh, giving you insights about what more you can learn to what extent you can grow to and uh, in this world of digital marketing Thank you so much. I will see you another time with another video on YouTube. Thank you. Good day.